who are you and what do you do? I'm Silio from Laos, represent your school under my Laowang Phai and I'm a dancer. How did you start dancing? I have been dancing since 2006 and my first time I saw it on TV. My brother's friend invited me to see it in my village like about the break dance. Until I, I went there and then, wow, I, I feel more surprised. What is your daily routine like? Just dancing and I think like uh, everybody just wake up, looking something to do, watch phone or stressing body or thinking of dance, something like this. Not that much. And how much you train? Usually I don't focus that much about like uh, how many hours or some things but I'm used to like uh, practice when I want I just have like a speed I feel more like oh enough for my move or what I can do I just start to dance anytime when I feel I want to dance what do you think are the main ingredients that brought you at this level where you are now I have no chance for to go out or something like this until I found it with dance and dance make, can make me to go out or want to visit any country like in my dream I need to dance more harder and harder until I'm gonna get that chance Why you think you made it but you are the only one in Laos right? Or yeah. only few? What is the difference between you and other people in Laos? I think about uh, their dream. The dancer in Laos like to say they want to go to the big event or something like this. But this way I also feel the same want to go to the big event when I was young but now I found another way like uh, what is the most important for my life more. I think this that, that's why I can do like uh, always 100% for it because I already know what is gonna come in the future that's why I always go 100% for something that I like uh, oh I think it's gonna come but the dancer in Laos they have that dream but they have never like a uh, oh I wanna give first before get it but they always oh I'm waiting for chains or something like this they don't make their own chains or they don't make like a, their own hope by doing their own self Did you have a feeling of responsibility that you had to represent your country and be even better? Usually that, that is also the things make me push up Oh I wanna represent my country because I think European people at the time when I came really few people know about Laos so that, that's why it make me like uh, oh I really want to let them know where is Laos or how Lao people is or how Lao people thinking about dancing but I think I, I already make it I don't need to tell them I'm from Laos but they know where I'm from so that is like uh, okay I made it already before I'm looking for more like uh, gold but now I think I'm I'm done focusing about any gold but more like uh, having fun with dance having fun with friends having fun with family like uh, more everything around me I think that is the most important it's not just one gold but more like uh, who is like uh, around me or like a family girlfriend or dancing that 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 is my goal so I want to make every time when I got the moment good together that is my goal not just like a one goal to go or somewhere it's not like that no more what do you think is success for you who is around you friends girlfriend or family if you can make all people happy and yourself happy too that is the most the success thing I think. Is there anything that you would like to improve about yourself? I, I also want to get more like uh, 
my move or running more the culture and more foundation of dancing the foundations of dance is just like a music and you feel wanna dance right and happy with it right the thing what I wanna say is not just only work hard about dance but cut off the foundation I think that that what I want to improve more beside dancing in your life I have a girlfriend from Japan so I really want to speak more Japanese and I have been to China many times so I'm also interested about the Chinese language so I think that what I'm interested in and want to improve more too. Where do you take or where did you took when you was younger the inspiration from? Uh, before I watched like a b-boy TN and some like a good brother at La Bang Fai. Yeah. They always like a support, more like the people who close to me or like a brothers like a Tommy. He's also helping me a lot and I'm also learning a lot of things with him. They also give me some like a uh, inspiration from like uh, what they want to do. They really want to go to BOTY, the world final, something like this. I mean, example that is also make me like uh, feel oh, I respect you and you help me. I really want to give you back something what I can. So that it also make me feel more power. Do you think about your future or how is gonna be your life like in 10 years? trying to go around more to learning like um, about dance culture and myself too what I can do or something like this I want to have some studio for myself in the future just in Laos and then I can decide how the vibe of my studio is gonna be that's what I learned from the beginning if I got the studio I want to give my experience to them what I saw what I learned so you wanna teach in your studio also? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. What are the parts of breaking that you enjoy the most? For example, battling, shows, judging, or just the giving workshop, teaching? Usually all is uh, the good event judge, practice, even workshop, showcase. It's really different vibe. I don't that like uh, catch what is the best, but I feel all is, uh, I think it's good. And kind of experience and also learning for me too. If you never would have heard about breaking, what would you think your life would have been now? <laughs> if uh, <laughs> I don't doing breaking, maybe kind of the people playing game or just stay in Laos, you know, my own way, just follow fans, what they're gonna do and follow them or something like this. So breaking saved your life. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Can learn more, can see people more, enjoy with the bad vibe, enjoy with the good vibe, enjoy with the new people, new culture, new foods, new place. Give me a lot, really. Is there anything that you would change about the breaking culture? I, I don't think it's too changing it, but I'm feeling more learning, always learning. But if something change, I think that it's just like really natural. Usually the people like to say, they always, uh, I'm right, I'm right, or something like this. But usually you come from different place, different culture, so anyone have their own thinking. So we, we cannot change it, but we can learn and can see how how they come from. I think sometimes dancing can tell like uh, where you are from. So that's that's why like uh, we cannot judge all this uh, right or wrong, but we can give advice or sharing or help each other. I think that is the most interested for me now, not just said to people or oh, this uh, right or oh, this warm. When did you start it, breaking? How did you start it with which moves? I think I, I remember that I can do headstand before I start dancing. I'm doing at home and then like uh, I think I'm really good at headstand, really. Because I remember when I was a kid, I always doing the headstand. Even I didn't know about like uh, dancing. Maybe. Until I saw kind of like uh, breaking, 
I start to do like a head, head spin maybe That's why my brother friends, he saw my dancing like oh, oh this guy can do head spin or something like this And oh, he knows somewhere they practice so they, he invited me to see Did you have a teacher at the beginning? Yeah, I have a teacher My village team, the name is Lao Scott but I don't know they call me like a member or not uh -huh. but the first team I heard that is like uh, Lao Scott at my village and after I heard Lao Bang Phai Lao Bang Phai is like the biggest team in Laos and then they always tell me oh you wanna go to practice or you wanna see because I really come from far the town so they told me something about Lao Bang Phai and I'm really interested and after I have chance to visit them then become next generation among five before I'm doing just his stand and his spin right after I I visit the team at my village yeah I'm starting more like a baby fish more handstand and some windmill and some hollow back? yeah yeah hollow yeah. back yeah I'm really good at it when oh. I was a kid, yeah. I'm really flexible, so I think that, that the people will remember me in, in Laos. Is there any b-boy that you consider your rival? Yeah, I think at the time, the people like uh, watch me and b-boy uh, S. Tuto. Uh, from, Vietnam. from Vietnam, yes. Because uh, only at the time, a Asian, Southeast Asian b-boy, kids like uh, me, doing power move and s tutor yeah so uh, we were uh, like the people waiting for like a, oh what what this guy of this guy gonna do next and next like i see how they're improving and we also like uh, feel like a uh, kind of the same age and then uh, like kids but now i think uh, i don't really focusing this kind of thing i just feel like uh, yeah, anyone must have their own good size But I don't wanna judge who is better I feel more like a, your move or kind of your dancing Can tell how you're thinking and where you're from That, that is the thing I wanna say So my dance too, I, I wanna tell them what I'm thinking too What is your dream combo of power moves? Uh, maybe 10 real on hands yeah, Maybe I can do too but I don't want to do <laughs> Do you think it's possible to do very many rounds of real one end? Mm, For example, yeah. 20 rounds, I don't know. I think here, I still don't have that feeling, but I think inside I feel, yeah, maybe it's possible. But I don't have that much, some like uh, interested about it. Who is the, the b-boy for you that have more potential to beat your record? They can do maybe everyone. Turn in their back. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you would like to say more about you or more about how you think about something? Or also any advice for b-boys, beginners or I don't know, anything you want to say? So I will explain a bit just what I'm understanding about dance now. I think dance is come from like uh, happy or what you want to show them like uh, when you listen to music or what you practice and then you want to show them what you are thinking about if you have no any idea just stop for a few times and then ask yourself what is the thing you want to learn or you are really interested in your inside yourself not just from only knowledge but more like uh, yeah, ask yourself more and then learn more with yourself and know how to respect people and also respect yourself what you think is good or what you think is bad you must know about this but must be like uh, happy with everything keep respect for other people and for yourself I think this one it's gonna help a lot you are dancers it's gonna help that or you are a worker also the same or the, this kind of thing is gonna help you and then you're gonna understand more like uh, yeah it's become only not just serious 
way to do but you also can do with the happy way too now i tell you some names of some b-boys mm. when i say a name can you say the first thing that come to your mind rocks right he's good at doing fish power sour his legs so beautiful legs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Menno? i like his head small turtle oh this guy uh, become tattoo boy and then smoke it <laughs> hong tan he got a flavor pocket oh this guy is so strong <laughs> oh, i have no money but i have girlfriend <laughs> <laughs>